What's good, everybody? You already know what it is. It's your boy, and we back in here. You already see what it is, man. You know, it's, it's one of them days. We got some things in here. We got a couple things in here. And before we get started, you already know, I just take that time out to say I appreciate y'all rocking with your boy, you know, liking, subbing, and or just playing, watching, and, and, and talking hats. You know what I'm saying? That being said, got Hat Club in the building. You already know what it is. We got a couple of joints, and we got the exclusive J Tips joints. And one of the foes up in this thing, you know what I'm saying? So we're going to get into those because I know those are a big hoopla every time they drop. How hot are they? How good are they? How not good they are? Whatever the case is. So you already know when I pop them open, I'm going to give you that no bias. You know what I'm saying? No claws, no shake, no bake on them. You know what I'm saying? And we're going we gonna to dive into all the little joints. You know what I'm saying? We're going to see what's popping. We're going to see if they throwing that heat out to us like they normally do. And we're going to go from there. So it's your boy. Sit back. Stay tuned. We got four boxes to pop. And we're going to do our thing. You know what I'm saying? So let's get into it. We're going to hit y'all with the good little, you know, you know. You know what I'm saying? We're going to come back and do our thing. So it's your boy. Let's get it, man. Come on. Uh, yeah. Let's go. Like I said, man, we're going to jump right into these joints because we do got a couple. You know, I try, I try to keep the time a little, you know what I'm saying? I know a couple videos back, man, it almost took like 30 minutes. So we're going to try to keep this short and we're going to get into them. We're still going to break them down, though, because that's what we do here. You know what I'm saying? If you want the hat broke down and dissected, that's what we're about to do. So we're going to hop into the first one off the bat. <clears throat> Let's see what we got up in this thing. All right, and we got a double. We got a double up. Now, this release, I believe, was from a couple of weeks prior. You know what I mean? I, I, I review a lot of hats here, so I know some of these get pushed out sometimes a week or two, maybe three. You never know. But this first one is the Donic Black and Gold Bees. Now, I'm going to tell y'all, you know, I always keep it 100 with y'all on this channel. I got to say, I don't want to say I'm disappointed or maybe just more disappointed in myself because I didn't pay attention. I'm not really a big fan. If you see that, like the spring training kind of mesh hats, I thought this was like a regular fitted. You know what I'm saying? Didn't know this was a mesh hat. I mean, don't get me wrong. The, the look of the hat is good. 100%. Of course, you got that OG green bottom. You know what I'm saying? But hey. Mistakes even happen here first, and y'all can usually tell when it's on my face. The hat overall, good hat, good design. Love the Bees logo, and the reason why I bought it, because it reminded me it gave off kind of a Wu-Tang vibe. Let me know in the comments if you agree. That's literally because you know how they go killer bees, you know what I'm saying? So that's what I was thinking. Plus, with the Bee logo, the Bee logo is crazy right there for the side patch. I like the little crazy killer bee look, you know what I mean? But I didn't look at the material. And a lot of the pictures, unless you get a close-up on it, which, of course, you know what I mean, you wouldn't have been able to tell. You know what I mean? Because once I seen the rounds of the picture on the like social media and everything, I was like, okay, well, that's the same hat I got. But I didn't get that material. And turns out, once I seen everybody showing their hat and it was that material, of course, I was getting that material like they made a special hat for me or something. So, got your Donnick logo on the back right there with the little flower, of course, probably for the B and everything. But like I said, the overall joint of the hat, I like it. Just me, and that's a personal thing. It doesn't, you know, let me know what you think, you know, if you don't mind it or not. That's just more of a personal thing with me as far as just the, I don't know, I call it the spring training material because a lot of caps do do it when they use like the spring training and you know what I mean? More so like on a lids or like a new era, they'll use this material because I guess this is the material they use on spring training caps, you know, since it's just, you know, spring training, I'm assuming. But like I said, the overall of the hat, I love the, the thickness right there, the little B for the logo to jump out on you. Everything looks good, but just would have been knocked out of the park if it would have been that regular material. But I do see what they were trying to do here, especially right around the time when this came out, I believe spring training was just starting to pop off and everything. So got your first ones, you got your dining B with your spring training mesh type material. <laughs> but like I said, I, it, the hat looks good. I love it. And would I probably get some wear out of it? 
I'm not gonna front, absolutely, especially since I got a couple of Wu Tang shirts, a Wu Tang sweater. So will it still get run? Absolutely. You know what I mean? Let me know what you think. Did the picture pull a fast one on you, or does the material you knew it was? This one, it just it just slipped by me. It happens to the best of us. I guess I just wasn't paying attention, or I was just mesmerized by the good looking head. Like, okay, I know that's gonna go with some things. And then after that, just didn't pay attention to it. <laughs> and then the next one we got here is the Bat Bativa. I want to hope I'm saying that right. The Bativa Clippers. Now, this one here, this was an all the way go for me. Um, I see they got the white button at the top, but it kind of gives off an off-white vibe. But I guess it is white. This one, just a dope logo, solid hat, no, no side passion or anything like that. Nothing on the back here. Me, personally, this was a colorway buy because I got a lot of kicks that'll go with this. Got the gray under. Wish it would have just went with a green under, but gray is not bad. Got your black guts under there. But like I said, this was a strictly a colorway and a logo buy for me. So passed all the tests on that. And then you always hear me say on a lot of videos, Sometimes it's good to have just a plain hat, no side patches, no crazy unders, nothing like that. Sometimes you just want something that's going to match what you got or what you're trying to match, and you just want to throw it on. So with that being said, this passed the criteria for that. No crazy side patch, got the tonal new era, nothing on the back. Basically, the logo and the colorway is working the whole hat. So that's what you got right here. Something you can just throw on with something. Got some jeans, got some burgundy on, some burgundy type of kicks on, which, you know, of course, there's a lot of burgundy kicks out there. I got a couple, you know what I mean? So this one was a colorway buy because I just wanted it to just rock out with certain type of things. And it fits that criteria because you don't have to worry about too many things standing out from the hat except the logo and the colorway. So if that's what you're looking for, this was definitely a good hat to get, and obviously it was, because I've seen this hat making around on social media too. A lot of people picked it up. There's always a lot of people out there, you know, with the outcry of, you know, they miss some hats without any side patches on there and everything, and that hat gives you all that type of vibe and everything you're looking for. A nice hat, no side patch, just all colorway, all logo, and it gives you that. So you definitely can't be mad at that. All right, we'll get into it. This one next. Let's see what we got here. Uh, okay. Oh, now this one, this this one had a lot of people going. So first off, I'm gonna save that one for last. And this one we have now. This one side patch logo hat color everything this hat hit a 10 out of 10 out of the park everything about it this one was a must-have for me and i'm glad i got it this one is the reds cincinnati reds big red machine red and white now you know it's one of them ones when i just sit here for a minute and let you look at it this one gives you everything you're looking for the logo, I love when they use the large C logo when it takes up the hat because you know they have the, I, get, I don't know if you want to call it the lowercase C or not, but it just has that to where it's the larger C. Yeah, the colorway, the everything. Come on, let me just go ahead and get right into it. Love this side patch. Just now starting to see it get used a lot more. Had to have it. This is my first one with this side patch on there. Plus with the larger C logo that I love for the Cincinnati Reds that they use. Then they kill it all the way out. They put the classic green under there. And then not to even hit it out to make sure it was out of the park through the white guts in there, man. Everything about this hat was a must-have. Hit me in the comments and let me know if you was able to get this hat. This hat, I don't care who you are unless you just a diehard and hate the Cincinnati Reds. This hat was a must-have hat. This hat is a thing of beauty to me. Definitely. This hat moves into my... Because I, I have a lot of them. This one definitely moves in to my top 10 side patches just for the vibe it gets off you got another cincinnati red you got the running reds man you got the big red machine you know nickname that they went by like everything about this hat just gives the vibe off no batter man or nothing on the back you know what i don't mind that you you could have put a kicking mule on the back of there and this hat would have still been a 10 out of 10 to be totally honest with you Got the tonal new era, of course. Like I said, you got that OG green under. You got that white gus. This one right here, stupid right here. This thing goes totally stupid. You know what I'm saying? Love everything about this hat. Let me know down below if you was able to get it. What you feel about this one here? What you feel about this side patch? This one, 
everything about this hat is a go in my opinion. Now, this next one was a problem online. From orders getting canceled, from from it was it was a problem. Luckily, I got one. This one here is now. Let me give y'all the name for it and give you the name it was going by. This is the Atlanta Brave Sandstorm, or what most people are calling it, the, the missing sandstorm, because I guess I don't know if they didn't release it on the initial release, but this thing online was a problem. Everybody wanted this thing. Some people ordered it. Some people ordered it and tried to resell it. And I guess some people tried to order and resell it and got caught reselling it. And then people's orders was getting canceled. Some people's orders was getting canceled. And they didn't even know why they ordered got canceled because they just wanted the hat. But I don't know. It was a thing. But it was a thing over this hat for sure. And I, and I see why. I got to be honest. Like, I mean, it's on point. I mean, it's a lot of colors working on this hat. But the colors work. Now, I did get another Sandstorm. I believe I bought one. I bought the... Jeez, that's what I'm saying, man. I bought so many hats, I forgot which one I bought. But I did get another one out of the collection, and it wasn't this one. But if anybody knows me when it comes to Atlanta Braves, I'm a big fan. When they use the Tamahawk in their logo, then this colorway, and then I love the side patch. But I think the logo does its own talking on this thing. Of course, you got your pink under. You got your white guts. I mean, this one, it, this one was a problem. Got that tone on New Era. Not an indented batter, man, but not so much a problem. This whole colorway with this hat, it hits out of the park. Now, this one, I definitely want to hear people's insight down below because when this came out, there was a lot of hurt feelings over this thing. Like I said, with people were getting canceled. They didn't know why they was getting canceled. It was just a thing. So let me know down below if you was able to hit on these and what you had to go for to hit on this thing because it, it is it's a, it's a good looking hat, man. Now, will I get a lot of run out of it? Probably the color of the colors, not so much, but it definitely will get run because this is one of those ones you definitely want to get out there and you want to show out on because it's so well put together. Because when you initially look at it, you wouldn't think the colors go, but they definitely made it go. And with the holiday just passing, it definitely gives off that Easter vibe. So pretty sure a lot of these popped out during Easter time. This one and a lot of the ones that were bought from the previous release. So definitely one for the bus because like i said man when that thing went down oh yeah pe people was really hot about that in a big way <laughs> so yeah let me know down below if you was able to get one of the problems you went through when you tried to get one or if you got one had to get one second hand and the whole nine man i'm, I'm here for y'all man i'm kind of like a barber and a bartender all in one i'm, I'm here to listen to it all man because hey like i said it happens to the best of us i've been there definitely been there Yeah. <sighs> All right. Now this one's gonna be another one. <laughs> I got a couple of funny stories about this pickup. Looking at it, uh, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna get into this first one because, like I said, it's a long story. This was initially called the Peacock Collection. I only think it was kind of like a micro collection. I don't think they did a lot of teams in it. And the first one we have here is the 50th Anniversary Athletics. Now, you know me. I always keep it a buck with y'all. Now, when I bought this one, I knew what I was getting into, but I just kind of thought, like the stomper on this logo would be a little bit bigger. I don't know if the whole, I mean, now looking at it, I guess it has to work because the stomper is like embedded on like what looks like it would be the sun. You know what I'm saying? So I, I get it now because if you would have to make the stomper bigger, you'd have to make that sun a little bigger. But I mean, maybe it would have worked, but the stomper is just a little small to me. And then I knew it had glasses on, but just looking at it now, yeah, let's leave the glasses off. I mean, I know Hat Club has nothing to do with that. This is probably a pre-done design, so they just chose it. But yeah, let's let's leave the glasses off of him. He's, he's just fine. His eyesight is good. They have 100, 100 memory and all that stuff. So yeah, he don't need the glasses, man. He's, he's good. He's straight. Side patch, not a big fan of it. I mean, it works for what it is. I'm pretty sure this is one of those hats that the side patch wasn't the seller on it. It was the logo and plus the colorway. Now, 
I want to say this is kind of like an ocean blue. It's not a regular blue, as you see. Um, I don't really think it gives a, a actual color under visor for what this kind of blue would be, but it's not like an icy or nothing like that. I want to say it's just more of a, it gives off a of more of an ocean blue type vibe, in my opinion. And of course, that's the same ocean type, you know, threading and lining that they got on the stomper also. Of course, you got the white guts under here. That's the only thing that could make this work with that. So, I mean, initially, overall, it works. This is just me. That was a little, I thought the logo could have been a little bigger and whatnot. So, not many too much of a thing. But let's get into the next one. Now, a couple of weeks ago, I was on Views from the Vault. And, and we were doing weekend caps. And this cap happened to come up. And my guy, shout out to my guy, Captain America. Uh, he did change his name on Instagram to... I forgot. I'm sorry, man. Pierre, my bad. I forgot because it's still a new name to me. I still get caught off guard when I'm scrolling by it. But when we were doing the weekend caps, this one happened to come up in the Peacock collection. And yeah, sad to say it didn't go over well with my boy and I had to break it down to him like, hey, in the pictures, it looked good. So I grabbed it, which is the Atlanta Braves. And yeah, let's just say Pierre wasn't a big fan of it. But, I mean, for what they did with it colorway-wise, I get it. They put that ocean color on here, and then they threw the um, the kind of, I won't say it's a hot pink, kind of like just a regular pink with the tomahawk. And like I said, just keeping it a buck. I'm a tomahawk guy, so I love how they made the tomahawk stand out, which is what made me pick it up. And then the side patch, I'm a, I'm a big fan of this side patch they got for the Braves. This one, one of the ones that's, you know, they picked the right side patch on there because, I mean, a lot of them, it, it could have went another way, but this one is decent for the way it came out with the colors on there. I like the way they did it. See how they incorporated everything. You can actually see the A stand out from everything else, the buildings. Like the colorway they used on here made this side patch 100% better because it made everything stand out on the colors. You know what I mean? And now the logo, I know he was feeling, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, you my boy and everything, but I like the way they did the front logo, how they use the colors on there. I mean, sometimes they're not going all hit out of the park, but I mean, this one, the color scheme they were going for, you dress it up right, it's a winner, man. The white guts on there, got the embedded batter man on there, got the tonal flag on there. Like I said, y'all let me know about this one, man, and keep it a, hey, you know this is me, man, keep it a buck with me. Let me know what y'all think about this one down below. Did they do a little too much with the colors on this one? I mean, it kind of works. If you know how to dress it up, it's, it's not too bad. You know what I mean? That's just me. Let your boy hear it, though. You know what I'm saying? I love when y'all let me know what's going on in the comments. Let me know what y'all feel about this one. You know what I'm saying? I mean, like we said, man, we can't, we, we can't win them all. You know what I'm saying? But the picture looked good. It's not that bad in hand. I'm going to be honest with you. You know what I'm saying? I know that's kind of bad. It sounds like I'm trying to sell it to y'all. I know. I know. It's, I'm not trying to sell it to y'all. I mean, it looks good. I like it. You know what I'm saying? All right. Last but not least, opening all these up, I'm going to assume this is the one everybody's been waiting for, which would be the J-Tips that release. Now, again, these are the solid J-Tips because just recently they released the two tones. And getting into those and getting into these, we're going we're gonna to touch on all of them. Now, the first one we got here is the purple with the pink Atlanta Braves. Now, anybody knows me, I'm a big fan of the 99 patch, I guess, for them. I don't know if this was considered the loser patch for them because they use it on New York also. Like I said, I don't follow baseball that much. But you got that purple. You got that 99 patch, which is always going to look good. You got your pink under, you got your white guts. Now, first off to me, initial look, is this is not bad. You can make this work. Again, I know some people say they don't see the hype, they don't see this. They always say the hat is a certain type of way. So, I mean, I get that. But now you want my opinion, some of these work. And I won't say some of them don't, but I'll say some of them don't for me. Like just speaking on this one, and the ones that just released. Now, I step out of my zone and get some of these colorways like this. I can make this work. But the two-tone bright colors, that's just not really my thing because I'm not really, I'm big on two-tones depending on the color scheme of the two-tones if I can make it work. 
because I'm never going to buy a hat that I'm really never going to wear unless it's a real collector's that's just going to sit somewhere in a case, airtight, sealed, and the whole nine. Outside of that, I'm never going to buy some crazy color scheme just to buy it because that's just what the wind of today is. You know what I'm saying? So this one here, will it get some run? I can definitely dress this one up without a doubt. Now, of course, me being a Cali dude, I had to get the infrared LA, that light icy bottom. Now, to me, the one complaint on this one was the side patch. Now, a lot of people said the side patch, they can see what he did with the green outline stitching, making it stand out. Again, me personally, keeping it a buck, not a big fan of it. I think he could have left that off and just left the, the blue writing on there. And that's just me. Not really a big fan of that, but I like the infrared in the LA because I do have another J tips, which is the infrared New York like this one with the icy bottom. So, I mean, me personally, and we discussed this on Views from the Vault also, I know maybe he tried to throw it on there to make it stand out or something. I don't really see it, but again, I'm not the designer. I'm, I'm just the consumer, but I feel it could have been left off of there. And maybe even the World Series riding could have been done in the icy riding. That would have made the hat more, you know, a solid combo with the colors you use for the icy. But maybe this was thrown on there to be different in a type of way. Or maybe he threw it on there to have some kind of meaning. Me, I'm not sure. That's why I got y'all. Let me know down below. But me personally, just not a big fan of that. Because it's like, this was just like put on there. But it doesn't really like hit with anything because i mean you got the white in the la no white got the icy bottom no icy you got the infrared which is the hat so to me he could have went with the blue being icy and then maybe outlined it in white i'm not sure but you know i'm not the artist like i said i'm just a consumer but it's still an overall nice hat i mean the side patch like i said the side patch is what it is you have to take it for what it is got the indented batterman Definitely love that with the icy background on the Batterman. So again, I mean, you got to take them for what they are, man. Like like I said, the two-tone releases wasn't really for me. But again, that's just me. So, I mean, I'm not really a two-tone guy. So I probably shouldn't throw <laughs> my literal hat in the ring talking about that. But I mean, if it's a good colorway and it's a good one you can match up with a lot of what you have, by all means. Because now they did sell out. They were they were gone. There's people still trying to scramble, try to get some of them third party. But when it comes to his releases, if I if I purchase the releases, I'm gonna stick with the solid colorways because that's just more my thing to try to round out. Like I said, because I'm not a big two tone wearer like that anyway. Unless it's you know more colors that I can tweak or work with for my fashion, you know what I'm saying? So again, these solid J tips, hey, they a winner for me. And of course with each one, they came with the little custom buttons on there. I'm not mad at that. Shout out to him, he doing his thing, you know what I mean? I'm always gonna shout out anybody, you know, who got their little collaborations, they got their joints out there, they're trying to do their thing. I'm always gonna support, especially if it fits into my fashion sense, I'm gonna support and I'm gonna always pick up. So, I mean, they definitely good for the buy. I mean, if that's what you're into and you can work with kind of brighter tone colors, the two-tone, like I said, on a personal, probably not for me because I don't really rock too many two-tones like that, but these definitely work. We discussed the side patch, so yeah, but then a side patch on here, out of the ballpark, so yeah, I mean, it is what it is. That's all I got for y'all today, man. You already know, like I said, appreciate y'all watching the whole thing. If y'all watched it, if you have to skip through, hey, man, I get it sometimes. You know what I'm saying? I'm just like y'all. I do it sometimes, too. But hopefully you watch the whole thing. Let me know what you think down below in the comments. Make sure to like, share, subscribe, and all that good stuff. If not, hey, hit me in the comments, man. Your boy gonna holler back at you. Let me know what y'all thought about all the pickups and everything. And, hey, I'm gonna see y'all on the next one because it's always the next one. I'm your boy, man. I'm gonna hop up out of here. Hey. I'm going to see y'all when I see y'all, man. Let me know what y'all thinking in them comments. Talk to you. Boy, going to holler back at you, man. I'm gone.